Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Annie. So we're looking a little different today. I'm sitting on the ground, a little closer to the camera, wearing something a bit more comfortable and cozy. I was lucky enough to be able to take this week off from work. Um, starting next week, HR is still trying to figure out how we're going to handle all of this with all of the uncertainty going on in the world. However, I take every day as a blessing and I'm so grateful to be have to have been able to stay home this week. And you know, being the person that I am, being a mental health therapist, I just wanted to put out this video to try to add some more positivity and more support into the internet because I know since a lot of us are social distancing ourselves right now, staying at home, there's probably a lot of media consumption going up, Netflix, Disney Plus, YouTube. So um, hopefully this video can be helpful for anyone looking for some tips and how how to deal with working from home, how to deal with social distancing, and maybe some positive things we can do during our day that could help us deal with potential symptoms of anxiety or overwhelm or even depression. I already made a video on how to deal with um, potential symptoms of anxiety, so check that video out specifically if you would like more um, tangible, more concrete tips on that. I do apologize, I feel like the lighting is going to go in and out. Can't really control all that because I love natural light, but that's what it is. It's natural. I cannot control it. So bear with me there. Let's just get straight into the video. So first things first, try to keep a routine. Routines are important because in times of overwhelm and feeling like things are out of our control, routines can really help us to feel like we can have even a little bit of control at this time. Let me give you an example. Just a few nights ago, I was like, yes, I'm staying home this week. This is great. So I stayed up until 4 a.m. watching Korean dramas. And then the next morning, my body woke me up at 7.30 because that's usually when I wake up to go to work and I just felt just completely just so out of sync, out of balance and that's how I quickly realized I need to keep my routine even if I'm staying home. I don't know how I don't know how I was able to like do all-nighters in college. I'm not sure. I guess I'm just too old for that at this point, but Try to keep a routine if you need to, maybe the night before. Try to plan out your next day. And even if we're staying at home, doesn't mean that our days need to lack structure. So even if it means we're planning fun things to do throughout the day, I feel like planning and organizing and creating a routine for your day could really, really Second help. tip I could share is try to remain active and healthy. And that can be about your diet and what you're eating and about working out. So when it comes to eating, um, hopefully you're able to go out and grab some groceries. I know there are a lot of grocery delivery services still available like Amazon Fresh and Instacart. I think those are the only two that I know at this time but um, hopefully you were able to get some food stocked up in your fridge and your pantries and maybe this could be a great time to try out some new recipes maybe dust off those old recipe books you might have gotten as Christmas gifts or something or we have the beautiful thing that is YouTube or the internet as a whole and there are many great recipes online so try to cook for yourself that could be something that could be like a really fun solo activity or like a family activity and also another thing about eating is there are still a lot of local restaurants open and they are doing deliveries so you know maybe Maybe once in a while trying to use DoorDash or Grubhub to support these local restaurants as they are also dealing with everything that's going on in the world. Um, when it comes to staying active, I know for myself, oh, the lighting looks perfect right now, I wish it would stay this way. When it comes to being active, I know for myself, my gym closed down a few days ago just to make sure, and I'm glad they did. So every night I've been trying a different workout video on YouTube and busted my butt. All you need is a little bit of space and literally, like I live in an apartment, so I looked up like 20 minute, 30 minute cardio, no jumping because I don't want to upset my neighbors downstairs. And there are just so many kinds of cool workouts for any kind of person or even just walking around the house more cleaning doing a bit of spring cleaning I cleaned out my closet trying to stay active even if we are in one place there are definitely options number three I've mentioned this in my previous video as well so there's a lot going on in the media right now there's a lot going on in the news and you know being at home I think it might be easy for us to stay looking at our phones keep watching the news keep reading news updates and let me tell you it's really really great to be informed however all of this information can be really 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 i'm really emphasizing the really here overwhelming so i would highly suggest try to consume information whether it's reading the news or it's watching the news do it in moderation you know don't spend the entire day if you feel like you feel overwhelmed from everything going on in social media and the news maybe it's time to put your phone away maybe it's time to grab a book you know maybe it's time to play with your pets at home if you have any um, just trying to kind of shut off the outside world a little bit could really help us to deal with some symptoms of anxiety and dealing with all this information that we have 
because as you might have noticed, not all information is accurate. So it's best for us to be smart consumers of this information. Smart as in what are we consuming? What are we hearing? Where are we getting our information? But also how much information are we getting? Because it could become a lot real quick. Also, if you really, really, really feel like you need to go outside, let's say you have a dog that needs to go outside and take a walk. The CDC and a lot of local governments have mentioned it is okay to go outside to take a walk real quick if you need to. Just make sure that you're keeping that six foot of social distancing from other people. If you feel like your mental health is being endangered for being at home for too long, have you tried opening your windows? And if that's that's not enough, definitely step outside, take a deep breath, don't go to the mall, that's not what I'm I've saying. I've already kind of mentioned this already, but try to re-engage in your hobbies. Um, it is a scary time right now, but I feel very blessed to be able to be at home because now I'm just kind of using different parts of my brain and really thinking outside the box on how I could really spend this time to the best of my abilities. And whether it's cooking or reading or painting or whatever it may be, this is a great time to re-engage in those hobbies that you might have put away. Maybe you have some art supplies in like your closet. I I know I have a few in there. Try to engage in fun stuff that bring you joy and that take care of your mental health, things that make you happy. Oh, there goes the light. If you're living alone or if you feel alone or isolated, this is a great opportunity to use the amazing technology that we have. Try to obviously call your friends and family, but also you could have Skype dates with your friends and family. Um, some of my friends were trying to plan like a brunch over Skype, which is really cute. Like we're all gonna cook brunch and just have Skype open and talk to each other. I've seen on social media some people doing like cooking together over Skype. I've seen some families Skyping together and having meals. I also saw some people practicing TikTok dance videos over Skype. We are in a time where we are more connected than ever. Call someone, text someone, Skype someone, whatever it may be. And last but not least, if you are really, really feeling a lot of isolation, maybe some symptoms of depression, you don't like being alone at this time, I'm going to drop down some hotlines and some important online services, whether it's mental health therapy online, if you need someone to talk to, I'll be dropping down a bunch of resources, the most that I could find in the description box below, also in the comments, and I'll pin my comments so you can refer to them. Like I said, it's a time where we may feel alone and it's a scary time, I totally understand. In times of adversity and certainty like this, it's a beautiful opportunity for people to really come together and we're all suffering together inherently as humanity because you don't know me, I don't know you, and everyone's walks of life are so different. But when it comes to this kind of a global situation, I think humanity has this opportunity to come together and just show kindness and show solidarity together and that can give us strength. Um, I know this was a pretty quick video, I just kind of wanted to put it out there for anyone who may need to hear it. I am praying for the world every day and if you have been affected or if your loved ones or anyone you know may have been directly affected by everything that's going on right now, I just want to say I'm so sorry and I'm praying for you and your family. I'm praying for the world, I'm praying for humanity, I'm praying for the earth that we live on. It's a time where we need a lot of prayer. We need a lot of positivity and solidarity and support for one another. And I just want to let you know, whoever you are that you are watching, you are not alone. You're not. Everything is going to be okay. It's not time to panic, right? It's just time to be smart. We got this. Humanity has gone through how many pandemics? We'll be okay. Everything's going to be a-okay. Just make sure to wash your hands. Um, stay close to your loved ones and friends. Reach out to everyone. Um, take care of yourself. You know, try to take joy in the simple things in life. And just hug your pets a little tighter today. My cats are not around me right now, but they've been so essential to my mental health during this time so i'm sending all of you love and positivity and strength at this time and i'll see you later in my next video bye